Hello everybody. Today we are here with Aksh, who is a professional Shopify seller. How are you today, Aksh? I'm fine, and you? What about you? I'm great, thank you. Oh, First of all, thank you very much for uh, your time and for this that you agreed to come and do this interview with me. Um, we saw you in our community, you were active, so it was really interesting for us. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, saw, I saw your community a couple months ago on YouTube and uh, subscribed to your channel and it was amazing tips that you gave for eBay sellers and all. And I really appreciate that. I started on eBay um, some years ago, uh, then to shop, drop shipping Shopify. I don't, uh, I, I had not uh, stay for a long time on eBay, unfortunately. Sure. I, I, I will also ask you about uh, eBay uh, later in this interview. Um, oh. I want to split the interview for uh, two uh, parts. The first one will be uh, some personal questions about how you started, about your businesses and stuff, and then more professional questions about Shopify. Ah, oh, okay, that's cool. So first I wanted to ask you for how long do you do dropshipping to Shopify? I've been doing dropshipping for four years now. Uh, I started uh, as a total beginner with no background. I started on 2016. I was working and for it was my part-time job uh, as dropshipper. Uh, I, I, I just uh, uh, stuck in it on two or three hours per day. I started uh, dropshipping on, uh, on eBay first. Uh, I was buying on Amazon and selling on eBay and all. Uh, then stop and stop. I, uh, I I lose approximately four to five k on uh, on eBay. That was for shipping, PayPal, and all. I was banned from PayPal several times, even on eBay. Uh, I was totally beginner, like I'm telling you. Uh, so I started Shopify. Started Shopify with uh, AliExpress, and uh, it was also a part-time job for me. Uh, then uh, I stopped Shopify for two or three months. It was a question of time and family, that's why. And uh, after that, I, I, I took away uh, my job and uh, started dropshipping for full time. Amazing. So right now it's a full time for you? Yeah, it's a full time job for me. Cool. And how did you get to dropshipping first to eBay? Uh, I was on eBay. I was stuck on eBay for on 2016 for approximately four to five months. Uh, then I was uh, my friends on eBay. I had my friends on eBay, which was stuck for verification and all. And some sellers on Amazon did not send me uh, proof of uh, sending payments and all. That's why I was blocked on uh, on PayPal was born on PayPal, uh, even on eBay. Yeah, but how, how did you get into this niche of dropshipping? Where, when, how, how did you hear about the dropshipping at the first time? Uh, it, it was quite, something funny. I don't know it's funny for you. I was just searching every way how to get money on the internet. That's all. And I, oh. uh, I read some, some, some e-books on uh, dropshipping, a way to make money online. Uh, uh, everybody was well, was speaking uh, about dropshipping at this time. It was something new for me, and uh, I, I just read a post on on uh, on uh, on Reddit, uh, telling that uh, 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 on dropshipping you can generate around 10k per month, 20, 30k per month, and I was totally interested, like on on that. So. What I do, I just uh, open an eBay account, uh, buy some some stuff on eBay. Uh, one month later, I start my seller account on eBay, and I bought from Amazon and sell on eBay. That's how I started on eBay. Uh, then I saw some some YouTube uh, videos on dropshipping, Shopify, and all. Uh, I try my 14 days trial. I bought also my domain and all. Uh, then I picked up a monthly plan of 29 USD. Uh, I started uh, Shopify and until now I'm still with the same store. 
uh, uh, the same store, but uh, correctly modifying store each three months. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, how many stores do you have right now? Uh, three stores running right now. Three stores? Yeah. Wow. And all of them are like it's different niches or it's the same niche? How do you uh, work? One, it's for only uh, organic oils. Uh, second, it's only about watches. Okay. And third one, it's about home improvement. Nice. And it's uh, like, how many, in, in, in average, how many products do you have in any of your stores? Uh, for home improvement, I have around 112 uh, products, 115 products. Uh, on organic stores, uh, I have around 50 products, 50 to 55, change uh, quite a few, few days. Uh, then last one I have around 80, 84. Oh. Okay, so on average you have between uh, 50 to 150 products in each store. Yeah, yeah on each store. It, 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 it depends on, on months. For example, on December I have more products in my store. For Christmas. Why? Because you see if something works and then you add more products. Uh, just just to side. test, just to test just to mm -hmm. test uh, products. That's why I, I, I do it. And for Christmas, I change completely the background or terms of uh, my Shopify store. For Halloween, uh, it will be coming uh, soon. I, I need to change the time. I need to change also products and all. Uh, it's, it's, quite, it's, it's quite difficult, but you, you just need to, to do it. So you so, always change the themes of the store? Yeah, all the changing, all the changing each month. Or each three months, you only know, change the background, uh, times, products, and all just for test. Cool. Uh, cool. Very interesting. Um, people do something similar with templates on eBay. It works really well because it gives to the customer, you know, the experience yeah. of like, it's for them, it's personal. I really like it. Um, Cool. And, and now, did you try to combine eBay with Shopify? Like now when you have running Shopify stores, did you think about maybe create eBay store and bring more traffic to your Shopify stores using this method? I, I was wondering that uh, if I do that, but not, not for now, maybe uh, next year, next year. Because uh, we, we just saw it. We are, I'm here with a team of four people. And uh, we are just trying to manage as good as we can uh, show if I store for now. Uh, I will hire one or more, two people next year uh, for, for, for eBay store. But for Where now, are you located? Uh, Mauritius. I have one in Mauritius. I have one in uh, Germany. Uh, I got two in South Africa right now. Nice. So, the freelancers are working for me when I need them. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you plan to expand and do the option to both eBay and Shopify in the next year? Next year, next year. Next oh. year for sure. But that, uh, this year, it's a bit tough to combine all. Yeah, we are also very close to Q4. So. Ah, okay. <laughs> It's, it's a limited time from now to the next uh, yeah, that time. Okay. Cool. Okay. May I ask you about with which suppliers do you work? Uh, I currently don't drop ship from uh, AliExpress I, uh, because AliExpress uh, is, uh, these are cheap items and I don't like it. Cheap quality. Mm -hmm. uh, I drop ship from Redbubble, Etsy. Uh, for a time being, for home improvement, some products are for improvement, and uh, I, I had a store uh, of t-shirts, uh, bundles, and all, switch shirt and all, that I just closed uh, last uh, last week uh, for a temporary moment, yeah, and I will launch relaunch it on November. Uh, for now, I have uh, a supplier in India, which supplies me uh, all my stuff for now, 
and has a great shipping uh, cost and time for shipping. Uh, for example, for UK, uh, it's about uh, three to five days in UK, and uh, to USA, it's about seven to nine days. So it's pretty good for me and for my clients also. It's, so it's from the Red Bubble, you mean? Red Bubble, yeah. It's yeah. a print on demand website store. So you can uh, just put your graphic and, uh, and sell t shirts, mugs, uh, travel mugs, and all. And they ship worldwide? Yeah, they ship it for you. Ship it for you. And for yeah, well, shipping, it's worldwide to any country? Yeah, yeah, worldwide. Worldwide. Nice. Good for me. It's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so, and now uh, the dropshipping is your only income, right? Your full time dropshipper? So, uh, dropshipping is not my only income for now. Uh, I have some uh, some shirts on Redbubble signing right now for me. That's uh, not my main, but I have it. Uh, I have Amazon KDP on. Uh, I, I write. I wrote books uh, on uh, on KDP, Amazon KDP Select, and I sell. I sell also low content books. Nice. So that's, that's my main. That's my main business. Uh, my main business was last year KDP, Amazon KDP on selling uh, low content books. Uh, then for now it's drop shipping. I have drop shipping, I have Amazon, I have Redbubble for now. And uh, that's, that's all that I have this free income running right now. So basically you're into commerce in different types, Shopify. Yeah, in different times. I try to in different times. And I, I, I just, uh, uh, last month I just opened an, an, an on Fiverr business. Uh, for all creation of Shopify store, running ads and all. Do, do you manage right now stores for clients? Or yeah, for I, 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 I currently manage 12 stores for clients. 12 for stores ads. for clients? Yeah, for ads and, uh, for ads and creation of uh, stores. Nice. It's, it's dropshipping stores? Yeah, dropshipping stores. Nice. So you do the ads for them? Uh, I do the ads for them, or if they don't want me to do the ads for them, I can create some uh, some videos of uh, products for ads and all, and I give them some tips for ads. Nice. No. Yeah. Pretty nice. <laughs> Amazing. Um, let me ask a few like more professional questions, which I think will yeah. be really interesting for the clients, for the yeah, audience. Great. Okay. Um, how do you, what is your main factor in choosing winning products? What is the process? So uh, the process of, of, and my team for choosing winning products is that we analyze the modern culture and trends uh, creating social platforms. This is how we do it. We just, for, for example, if you want to, to sell our product to USA, we just uh, have a look on, uh, on social media, so how uh, it's going on USA. For, for example, we launched uh, some t-shirts on, uh, for USA, Black Lives Matter. It, it, it was on the trend of what ha was happening in USA and all. That's how we do it. Do you use any tools to we do just this research? Just ask people what they want. Ah. Excuse me? No. So you're basically just asking people what they are looking for? Yeah, what they are looking for. Cool. I just posted in several groups uh, in, uh, on Facebook and we, we, we just uh, ask people uh, about, uh, for example, if I'm a group of uh, yoga, I will ask people, uh, what, do, what do you need in yoga? How do you uh, do, do yoga? What, what, what is a logo? What is a design you want on a t-shirt? And all, we, we just ask people. And if, we have a, yeah, if you have a positive feedback on what they want, what they need, we, we just launch a product and uh, launch a campaign on it. And sometimes you just take the product as is and doing drop shipping for us. Yeah. Specific yeah. Code. yeah, that's it. That's how we do it. So you're just thinking about the niche? 
then you take this niche going to a specific group for this niche and asking people what would you like to have for this so uh, f for example like we launch uh, on Redbubble uh, some t-shirts on yoga uh, we, we have approximately around 10 to 12 groups on um, on facebook uh, we we started asking people uh, how was uh, how, how, how was a, a journey on yoga? Uh, what, uh, how, how is a shirt on yoga? How, how is a, 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 are people reacting to some design, uh, to some fact? What, what, what product do they need to improve uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the yoga lessons and all? So we ask all that uh, question uh, with in that group. Uh, so when we have answers, for products, design, and all, we just create a niche and launch a, a campaign and store. That's how we do it. We do it for the, one or two months, not more. You mean the research for one or two months? Yeah, research for one or two months. And do you use like a Google Forms or something for the surveys? Yeah, we use Google Forms. Nice. Uh, Nice. It's very interesting because you know you work like any real business who yes. wants to make the market research. Yeah. And uh, do you use any tools like Google Trends or Facebook uh, ads to check like other competitor or something like that, or just the surveys? Uh, we currently use Google Analytics. Google, no, but Google Analytics, it's for your site, but to, to find the trend? Uh, find the trend, it's on social media. We just use uh, Facebook groups and, uh, and Instagram or Twitter, uh, having an idea what's going on in other country. And we just look some, uh, some news on BBC and all to see what is people, well, what, what, how is people reacting to, uh, to market and all. That's what we use. We use free uh, tools. We don't uh, use paid tools for now uh, because we just are telling yourself that uh, free tools are, have more potential in free tools that uh, going to pay a tool or a supplier or someone to, to tell you what is happening there. Nice. Uh, so totally we, uh, that's how we do it. Uh, and, and, and what we appreciate in, in free tools is that uh, you just need to know what people want today. When, when, you're, when we are going to sell something on a store, we just want uh, people to know that uh, this product means to them, and this product is a solution to them, not a problem. That's, some, that's something uh, 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 around many, many others. You see? That's why. I will focus on uh, on, uh, on particular products that that uh, on customer needs. That's all. Cool. Well, uh, for if, if people have some uh, hair problem and all, we just sell him a, an oil for organic oil for hair growth and all. That's why. That's all. Ah, it's an, it's an example of it. And do just, you use? Our customer needs. Nice. And and do you focus only in the US market or you sell to other countries too? So we uh, basically we started on US market uh, and then uh, UK market, France. And for the time being, we are on uh, on small countries in in, uh, in Europe uh, like uh, Romania, uh, like. Uh, you have uh, Greece, uh, Portugal, and all. And it, it, you sell the same product from the same supplier same to product, all different. Same supplier to other countries. Amazing. Uh, it's working pretty well because we have so many dropshippers who are dropshipping in USA right now, and I feel that people uh, don't want to buy anymore uh, on on dropshipping websites. That's why I prefer uh, to sell on uh, uh, on Middle Europe countries. Uh, for the big 
please, uh, people are, are, are just here to, uh, to buy. Yes, they are going to buy, but the percentage of buyer has decreased in, in USA and in UK. Um, and uh, many people stock uh, today on ads, uh, uh, investing on ads and all, but they're not getting, they're not getting sales. That's why uh, me and my team, we just focus on middle countries uh, in Europe so that we can afford uh, generating 30 to 20K uh, monthly for now. Interesting. Okay. Um, if you would start now from scratch and you would be a beginner, what would you do? You would go for a one store, store a one product store or a general store? So if I was a beginner right now, I would go for a general store. Because if you want to do drop shipping as a beginner from scratch, just you, you don't you don't have this money to test products. You will not have the money to invest, the time to invest at all. You will have the time, yes, but not as much as, as you have. So I would consider general uh, general store. General store. General store and then how then to move to one, one product, one product store. Yeah, but how would you promote this general store like Facebook ads or just organic on Instagram? Uh, so uh, for Shopify store, you need to have a good SEO writing to be able to be ranking Google search, the first one. Uh, second one, when you have a general store, you must identify some products which people will need for a solution, not a problem, okay? Then you, you just make a good video of ads or a good picture and you launch your ads on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And I, I use also email marketing. That's worked pretty well for me, email marketing. And to grab the emails, do you create like a a guide or something to get the emails? Uh, I have some newsletters on my store uh, and I buy emails also from uh, from people on Fiverr. You can have some on Fiverr, some dropshippers who is selling them. I just make them an offer to buy their uh, email clients. If, if, if uh, I, 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 I send email first for asking if I have the right or not, if they let me uh, have the right or not to, to send them an email, a promotion email or newsletters and all. I ask them before. Signing nice. Okay. Uh, did you try uh, to work with the influencers in this method? Uh, I work, I, I work on so the February. I work with two influencers on Instagram, and the result is, was pretty okay. Was okay. Was okay. Not that bad. Not that bad on Instagram, but I prefer uh, Twitter, Twitter ads. Uh, I prefer email marketing than Facebook or Instagram. You want Twitter ads? Yeah, Twitter ads. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Twitter ads is more interesting than Facebook because. Some people who is in on Twitter are not on Facebook, so I just crowd the small quantity of people that are on Twitter, and it's more professional for me to run on Twitter than Facebook. Okay. Uh, we don't forget LinkedIn also. For professional. Sorry? Yeah, LinkedIn. Ah, LinkedIn. Yeah. Okay. We can put on LinkedIn. So from my understanding, the people, what they need to do is to create a general store. And then from this store, they need to find the best selling products for them, focus yeah. on them in the ads. Yeah. yeah they just need the to on the ads to find the winning products one. So if you have around, for example, 10 products on your store, okay, you just create an ads with two or three products, a video ads of two or three, four, three, three products, okay. If you see the second one is selling more than the third one or the first one, okay, you just need to recreate another ads and for the only, uh, winning products. That's what I do. I put three products in ads. If the one has 
for example, 10 cells, uh, second 50 cells, and third uh, uh, 30 cells. I'll just pick the, the second one and run uh, uh, the ads alone with him. Uh, and, and then how do you spread to more stores? Like if you want to, you know, increase your profits from what I understand to increase the profits, you create more stores to increase your revenue. So, so, so that, that depends on trends. Uh, uh, I would focus uh, on, uh, on, uh, on trends. For example, for, for Christmas, for New Year, uh, for Halloween and all, Valentine's Day and all, we just need to focus on trends. If people need some, for example, uh, for, exa for example, a t-shirt of Halloween, uh, if they need that, they would need it before 15 days before Halloween, you see? So I just started selling the t-shirts 15 days before uh, Halloween. If it's for Christmas, I will start a store one month before. That's how I, I do it, how I do it. And on the, on, on why I do it, because when I create a Halloween store uh, or create a Christmas store, uh, I will put around 200 to 100 to 200 products. If I see in the first week that I have products that's selling, that's, that's has a good right on, the, on my sales, I'll just remove all those products and put only one or two products. That's how we do it. Just test some products okay. first. And what, what is the initial uh, profit margin that you put for your products? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, profit margin per store or on free if, stores? No, like if the product costs, for example, ten dollars. Uh, I'll put or, around uh, twenty to thirty percent profit. Twenty to thirty percent profit. After ads yeah. or before ads? Uh, before ads. Before ads. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if something costs. But, but that depends. That depends. That depends on, on on products. That depends on products. For example, for for, for example, a a, a a a a mobile cover. For example, I can't sell it at fifty USD. You know, sell it at 12, 15, 16, but not. 25, 30. That depends yeah. on the product. And if the product is like, can be sell for more, so then you will put more profit now. Yeah, I will put more, okay. definitely. If the, the product uh, costs 10 dollar, I could take 10 USD and can be sell at 30, 40, I put it. That's not, a, not an issue. Okay. What, what I see is that it depends on the, you know, if the people on the other side knows how much it should cost because there yeah. are products that they cannot even evaluate their price, right? Yeah, that's one. For example, a watch. A watch today, if you buy a watch on AliExpress, uh, for example, at uh, 230, you can sell it to 50 to 40 USD. Many people yeah. have the time to go on AliExpress and see if the watch costs two, two, two USD or three USD. That's why. If you have good pictures, high quality pictures, if you do good videos and all, you can you, you, you just can afford it to, to 40 to 30 USD per product. How do, how do you create the videos? You ask the seller or you buy one product for yourself and then you create the videos? No, uh, I just get free answers for that or create videos for me. It's ah, you ask the, se the seller? Yeah, I ask the seller. If they have some videos, uh, promotion videos and all. If they don't have, I ask my, uh, my freelancers to do it. Ah, so you send the product to them and then they create the videos? Yeah, I, I, I send, I send a, a sample to them. A sample to them so that they can uh, uh, have a, a video for promotion. Do you get the samples for free or do you pay for this? Uh, I pay only for shipping. Only for shipping? Only for shipping. Shipping cost, and uh, if the product is less than 10 to 12 USD, I get it for free. But it's uh, if it's more than 12 USD uh, at all, I need to pay it. The product? Yeah, the product. Okay.
but but that de that depends on supplier. I don't think all supplier will give it for free and all. It depends on suppliers. Yeah, I see. And okay, so from what I understand, let's talk about uh, the ads a bit and the paid ads. So you yeah. pay, you, you have paid ads on Instagram, you have on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, I guess, right? Yeah, Facebook also. Okay, and do you do Google Shopping? Uh, a bit, not more, a bit, a bit Google Shopping. Okay. And if, if a beginner just starting a dropshipping business on Shopify, what yeah. would be the initial budget for Facebook ads, approx? So, uh, for Facebook advertising, uh, how much would a beginner spend on Facebook? So you're asking me to pause yeah. a second. Uh, so, uh, for a beginner, that depends on what he would invest on Facebook, okay? If, for example, he has 200 USD to invest on ads for one month, okay? So uh, I will ask him to have a good looking product, high quality photo, pictures or videos, a good videos, okay? If he can hire someone, a professional to do the videos for him or hire someone to do a professional picture uh, for the product, uh, now that's okay. So if he wants to target, uh, he need to make a research. For example, uh, this watch, which people are using it right now? Which people are buying it right now? If uh, this watch will be okay with old one, or a teenagers one, or people around 30 to 34, uh, 35 to 40, he just need to, to make an analysis of, of these things first. So after that, he, he, he need to know, if the product uh, only for male or only for female, okay? For example, I tried something uh, last, uh, last week. It was about uh, a bracelet for men, okay, bracelet for men. I just launched an, an ad to, only for girls, it was for men, but I, I just launched a campaign just for uh, women to ask them to, 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 to give a gift to their partners, to their friends and all, for men, men friends. And that worked pretty, pretty, pretty good. So you just need to analyze what is happening right now. If people, uh, it's men are buying it, women, if, uh, what, what is a category of age uh, is buying and all, just to analyze these things. And uh, when you have all the information you need, you can have you can stop promoting your store or your product. And no. for a product that costs, for example, $10, yeah. what would be like to do the test and see that the ROI is good and that there is a market and there is an opportunity for this product? What would be the budget that you spend for this product? 100 uh, for, or 100 for, for testing? Me, yeah. For me personally, I, I, I used to put 50 bucks for three days to test it. Every day 50 or 15 total? No, 50, 50 bucks for three days. For three okay. days. No, I used to do 50 bucks for three days to, to test it. And if I see in one day, uh, in, because it takes around two hours to three hours to, for your ads to be approved, uh, I let it for one or two days to see that trend, what's going on. And if I see that uh, it's, I, I, I start having some visitors on my store and having some, some sales, 10 to 20 sales on my store uh, on the first uh, three days, uh, so, so I keep it. I, 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 I'll, just, uh, I'll just create another ad uh, for or, or increased budget with the ad. If I see it's not working at all, I just need to cancel it after one or two days. Interesting. So $50 is enough for you to do the testing? Yeah, for testing, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, how, what will be your, like you said about the targeting, you choose if it's male, female, and do you do also interest? Interest? Uh, yeah, I do also interest. Interest. 
Uh, so if you are selling a, a uh, for example, a shirt, a shirt for interest, you just need to put as interest, for example, work, uh, people who, who is shirting for, for, for work and all, uh, for some occasions, for birthdays, uh, for some dinner and all, just need to put this interest. Interest uh, in which people will be interested to buy your products for some occasion. Just need to, to have some mindset for. Just need to, to look different uh, in a different way how people can use your product, in what situation will people use this product, and how could this could they be interested uh, in, be interested to, to buy this product? In what way, in what time, and all. And you get this data also from the forms that you do in the beginning, right? Or no? Not really. It's, it's, a, it's it, no, not not really. Uh, it, for, for example, if you go to a birthday party, you just have a shirt on you, a shirt on you, just buy a new shirt. So if you're uh, looking on Facebook, scrolling on Facebook, and you just see a shirt selling, drop shirt, store selling a shirt, and it's a good one, it's nice, it's nice, it's beautiful, and all, you buy it definitely. Nice. That's come on interest. If uh, people are interested to go to a birthday party and to, to wear a, a, a nice watch, a good shirt and all, a, uh, ah, that's, that's, uh, that's interest. Need, just need uh, what people want, what people need. That's a key, what people need. Because it differs that people uh, uh, want later and want now. So, uh, so some people want to buy, for example, a smartphone. If you want a smartphone, you can buy it later. You can wrote it now, you can wrote it later. Okay? For example, you're, you're, you're going to a birthday party, like I tell you. If you need a shirt, we buy it now, not later. So you search for products that people need right now? Right now, yeah. Cool. And for ads also, you need to focus on what people need right now, not tomorrow, not after one week, after some months. So if you do that, definitely you have sales if you focus on what people need. But watches is not something that people need right now. Uh, some people need it right now. Why? Because we are just uh, uh, targeting, uh, for example, watches. Just targeting people who love watches first. Secondly, people who, who who just want to have work, to get a work. Because people who work today always have watches in their head. Interesting. Yeah, cool. and, and the third thing that people want, why you want a, a watch, it's for gift. We target people to 50 to 70 years old, okay? That's for gift. We created that for gift. You can, Give that as a birthday gift and all that to your son, to your yeah, to friends and all. That's what we do. And we, when we sell uh, uh, men watches, we don't target men's. We target women's. Nice. Yeah, that's how we do it. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. Okay. It's really interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Nice. I really like uh, this. Uh, it's mindset. Yeah, yeah oh. mindset. Um, you you talked about uh, SEO on Google and uh, to optimize products for Google search. So you basically do SEO for your products. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, like no, you write uh, blog post or what? No. So when uh, uh, you are listing a product. On Shopify or on eBay and all, just to just need to search for some keywords. For example, if you want to buy a watch uh, from eBay uh, or from Amazon and all, for example, you just you you, you just want a brown watch. Uh, so on Google, you just type brown watch or uh, buy 
Brown Watch or uh, uh, Brown uh, uh, Buy Brown Watch in USA, in, in, in UK and all. That's our keywords. You just need to put maximum keywords on your listing title. That where, uh, uh, where you got a good ranking on Google search. That's what you need to, to do on keywords. Keywords are very important. SEO is very, very important. Just take one or two or one or two days just to, to, to have a good SEO writing. Or if you don't have time, hire someone, uh, hire a good uh, freelancer or professional uh, SEO writer so that you can write all your SEO first before running ads, before running, uh, before running a store and all. Where do you find them, the writers? Uh, on Google, just need to, to go on Google search, uh, type how, uh, for example, uh, uh, buy, uh, a, buy watch and all, you have all the keyword system. Or I Google. know, I, I mean the, the writers, the content writers, where do they find them for SEO? They, they, have, their, they, they have their tools for it. Uh, 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 freelancers have the tools for it, specific or paid tools they, that they use for for search for keywords and all. Okay, but, so you don't you don't find them on Fiverr, the freelancers? Yeah, you can find them on Fiverr. You you can find them on Upwork also. I use work Upwork frequently. Uh, I use Fiverr also frequently. Uh, so the, the, the most is Fiverr that I use because there I have some trust uh, SEO writers. Uh, that's working with me right now uh, on, on freedom on part-time basis. Uh, I'll, I'll just suggest you to, to go on Fiverr to search for a professional writer on SEO writing uh, for, uh, for description, for uh, all and all. That will help you a lot for, for beginners and who want to achieve big in, in dropshipping. Because you have organic sales with that. So you just find someone with good reviews on Fiverr, paying him to optimize your listing on Shopify. Yeah, you, 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 uh, if you want to go to shop, if you want to have a SEO writer on uh, for a Shopify store, you can go to Fiverr and ask them for, for their previous work, some examples of previous work and all, and just see how they work, how they how they work, and for which website they work and all. If you see the web the website is ranking good on Google and, and all, you can hire them. That's what, what I do for, for now. I just need to focus on, on, on some search to, to know if they're good or not and see their previous work, what they what, what they are doing uh, right now. Uh, I, I, I use them also for, for some clients. For example, you have someone who, for example, I, I, I have around five to six store bidding right now for today for some clients and I use them for SEO writing, product description and all. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's jump into a few last questions. I, I okay. don't want to take too much uh, from your time, but um, what are the common mistakes that dropshippers are uh, doing when they start dropshipping on Shopify or even professionals? What are the common mistakes that you hear or see from people? So, uh, like I was telling you before, say a wrong mentality. They try to find or buy many products that have no use. If you see on Google, uh, on Facebook groups and all, they are always searching for winning product, winning products, but they don't, they don't take the time to have the winning product from themselves. Because if I give you a product, I give you a, 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 a bottle of water, let's say winning products, uh, just have faith in it, just trust it, okay? You will not trust it, I can trust it. That you need to find your own winning products, winning products need to, to be a solution or a need for a people. That's why. Uh, they are always searching for best time. The best time for me is a simple one. I don't need uh, a time with uh, colors and all and all. And for Shopify store, you need to have at least two or three colors, not more than that, on your store. Maximum three, two, three, you mean? Yeah, two, three, that more, that more. And yeah. for ad strategy, like we just talked, 
and uh, they have too much excuse to invest or ask who will who will win or who will lose because people nowadays uh, uh, want to, to to have big money but they they don't want to invest that's the main factor that i learned from from beginners that fail it's okay so you have the wrong mentality always trying yeah. to find the winning products without the no checking of yours yeah. uh, searching for best themes while they just need something simple Add wrong ad strategies and too much excuses to invest no okay it's very good uh, tips for people what not to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah not to do but uh, they, they just need to learn what dropshipping is and how they can benefit from that business if you if you want to to do dropshipping business just need to have time to learn what is dropshipping first okay uh, what can dropshipping business do what are advantage and disadvantage of dropshipping okay just need to have uh, uh, to go on aliexpress to search for some winning products uh, for people needs and all and to plan a strategy for ads that's fine that's okay that's all need to do good okay amazing um what are the recommended niches for uh, shopify beginners uh niches for Shopify beginners so i can tell you uh, i tell you previous uh, questions they need to have a general store first that's my opinion for me uh general store to find uh for example if so, they want to you can add some uh, t-shirts uh, boots uh they, 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 they can have some ladies fashion babies and all and all they just need to have a niche of a uh, general store of, uh, of clothes, boots and all. And uh, after that, they just need to find some winning products that people need, use every day, and just sell it. Just begin an ads and start selling. Okay, so general store research and see what works the best for them as we discussed before, and then start yeah. with that. Well, yeah. And and uh, an essential tip for Shopify beginners, three tips if you can give to roll up this interview, something that will uh, help the beginner. First one is trust. You need to trust their products and their audience. Okay. Second one, motivation. You need to be motivated to find more and more strategies every week, every day. Okay. Uh, the sense of analytics, you need to analyze the local and abroad markets. Okay. Uh, nice and okay. I I would also say that maybe something that they have personal, you know, connection and love for this. Maybe it will also help, or you don't believe it. Uh, th for beginners, I would like that they learn first how to how to do drop shipping, uh, how to to analyze the market, how to analyze people, how to analyze needs first, so, the, 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 so that they can have some sales, if the first sales on, on the store. Uh, second one, what they need to do, what they need to do is uh, to focus on a good SEO writing, to focus uh, on having a good looking store, nice clean one, so that people can, uh, can be, can be can can be uh, can, can visit uh, uh, can talk to friends and all about the store, okay. And product need to arrive fast, and on five to twelve days for shipping delay. They need to find someone or to find a supplier that that ship first for them. Ah, so the shipping time is very important. Very important also. Yeah, very important also. So if, if I'm a beginner, it's better to go with suppliers like, for example, Wayfair, Amazon, and then AliExpress? Uh, AliExpress was a good supplier. I'm not telling bad of AliExpress. But the time being of COVID-19 and all, uh, their, their shipping delays has, has increased. That's why. If you want to start drop shipping right now at the moment, uh, me personally, I won't go for AliExpress. Because AliExpress, 
because AliExpress uh, for now, not all seller have, have uh, false shipping rates. Not all seller on AliExpress have shipping rates. Uh, sometimes you have a uh, Russian uh, package, uh, uh, Russian sellers that uh, ship false than China uh, seller. Uh, some uh, some products are, are stuck uh, on on America that can ship ship false from some sellers on uh, AliExpress or Alibaba. But better go for Alibaba. Search for some supplier on Alibaba that can supply your clients uh, more rapidly than AliExpress. Okay. Because on Alibaba, you can negotiate uh, time, uh, the time for uh, for shipping rates and all with them, the supplier. But on Alibaba, it's, it's, uh, on AliExpress, it's quite difficult to negotiate uh, for time. I see. Um, and you get, after you start selling from a seller on AliExpress, do you ask them for uh, like specific prices, deals? Uh, I never do that. I never do that. But I do it on Alibaba. Oh, okay. So only from Alibaba you do this type of... Yeah, uh, I do it on Alibaba. Because uh, some sellers on Alibaba are also sellers on AliExpress. Uh, some sellers on AliExpress are not sellers on Alibaba. So I prefer Alibaba than AliExpress. You see? Yeah, because um, if you sell, for example, 200 to 500, 200 products, you have a price. If you sell uh, 300, 400, 500, you have another price. You mean That's, a month? Yeah. If, for example, you sell 100 products a month uh, that cost uh, uh, free USD, okay? If the next month you sell uh, uh, 300 products a month that could, that we could do two or one, 150 or 250 USD. Even if it's not, in one stock, like even if you do drop shipping, yeah, if you do drop shipping, but uh, 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 if uh, you sell for the first month 100 products that we cost you free USD, okay, the second month you sell around 400 products, it will not give you free USD, it will cost you around uh, 250 or 215. That's how they work. Okay, and, and how do you do it technically? You contact the seller and telling them like, hey, I sold a lot of products using your store, so can you please give me a discount, something like that? No, when the negotiation is, is taking place, they, they already tell you, uh, for example, if you sell uh, uh, this quantity of products, this quantity of products, if you sell, for example, 200 products, you have as it price, if you sell 1,000 product, you have as it price. It's something like that. Ah, so for the next month, they will give you the better price. Yeah, yeah, better price if you sell more. The more you it's, sell, the price you get. And it's only from Alibaba, not from AliExpress. It's only from Alibaba, it's from Simple by Alibaba. I see. Okay, super interesting. It was a good tip. Nice. Um, okay, I really appreciate your time and this amazing interview. Would you like to give something last that you want to say to people or uh, basically we gave a lot of information, so it's up to you. Okay, uh, so uh, what, what people need to know today, uh, dropshipping is a very, very, very interesting and good business to do. If you want to, la to, to, to launch a store, if you want to la launch uh, uh, your dropshipping business, take the time uh, to analyze the market what's going on and if you want to drop ship on UK, uh, if you want to drop ship to uh, USA, Europe and all, take your time to analyze the trends of what people need today uh, on drop shipping uh, uh, on, on today's life, everyone's life. Literally. If they need, uh, for example, a product, don't hesitate, focus on that product, uh, launch your ads and launch your store rapidly. If you see that you're stuck on ads and all, uh, reviews and interest for people, uh, review your ads margin in terms of price, okay? And uh, don't make too much excuse to invest on ads. That's all I have. Amazing. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate your time. It was an amazing interview and I'm sure that you gave tons of content and tons of 
of knowledge to uh, different people. And oh, so, uh, we'll be published soon and uh, really appreciate it again. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye bye.